What's up you guys, welcome back and welcome if you're new. In today's video, we're gonna be installing the OEM Audio Plus sound system onto my 2020 Tacoma. I feel super excited and I do have Daniel right here working in the back. It's gonna be a nice sound system, of course. As you guys all know, I had this in my previous 2018 Tacoma, but on these new 2020 Tacomas, there is a couple differences, which we'll go ahead and explain in this video. So let's go ahead and get right to it and we'll show you guys. I'll behave myself, I promise. <laughs> so one of the really cool things that Jesse was excited about is the ability for him to reuse a lot of his system from 2018. For example, the tweeters in the dash, uh, the six by nines in the front door, all of those are transferable from the previous generation to the 2020 year model. Uh, it's when it comes to the rear speakers that Toyota did change the connectivity and therefore we just have an adapter that allows for the factory connectivity of your 2020 to interface with your six and a half uh, coaxial, uh, your OEM Audio Plus speaker. Other than that, the quick sync wiring harness entirely uh, is still utilized with the exception of an adapter behind the 2020 radio uh, to take into account the new connectivity that Toyota has back there. Uh, as we talked about, you had to go from the driver's side to the passenger side sub just because of the storage bin size changes that Toyota made with this year model, as well as under the seat. Now that they have the power seat option for the 2020 year model, uh, there is an adapter bracket that's necessary. But Jesse, your original amplifier bracket and assembly is used. It's just an addendum or a peripheral bracket rather that allows for uh, the provisions for the new seat to be taken into account. So we just got the front 6x9 installed. Uh, we'll proceed to uh, the rears. We're going to do all the speakers first and then we'll do all your wiring and the amplifier. Toyota did change the rear speaker connector on the 2020, uh, but however, the OEM Audio Plus system did take this into account. So if it's a brand new order, uh, it does ship with the adapter already in place. Uh, in this case, uh, Jesse had the, his speakers from his 2018 that he pulled out uh, of his Reference 500 uh, sound solution before trading in his vehicle. And so we've added the adapter to his existing speaker. So again, uh, we're able to work with the existing infrastructure of his previous system. But nonetheless, we are providing an adapter for a plug and play installation, ensuring that there's no compromise in terms of connectivity, no cutting, no splicing, anything like that. Uh, we're able to interface with the factory wiring without any fanfare. Jesse was asking, he mentioned that when he did his installation, he had a hard time with these. Um, and we were talking about the tools necessary. My, my record, I mean, we use what's called a little chisel. Uh, however, you can use like a, you know, something with the rigidity and the narrowness of like a gift card. And the idea is you wanna pull the panel kind of away from its rested position and then stick whatever tool you're using and just pull it down like that. You don't wanna use a pick tool. Uh, the temptation for folks is to use a pick tool, but what you end up doing is the plastic Mars and you end up with these little you know, circles uh, as a result of using the wrong tool. But yeah, uh, like I said, little chisel, uh, but you can also use uh, like a gift card or something plastic and narrow. Uh, uh, so we finished the speaker installation for the dash speakers, the front door and the rear doors. Uh, we're going to go ahead and proceed with the running of the wiring harness. This is all going to start by tilting back the driver's seat, running the harness to the back of the radio and the power wire to under the hood. So we'll show you some of the changes with the new 2020 year model along the way. 
So the 2020 Tacoma uh, has provisions for the power seat now, and therefore it does change the way that our amplifier mounts to the vehicle. However, we are still using the same amplifier assembly that was in Jesse's uh, 2018. Uh, this is the same assembly we use for the 05 to present uh, Tacoma double cap. Uh, this is the dual amplifier system, so our multi-channel power amplifier uh, that's going to be on the bottom, and our dedicated sub-amplifier on the top, uh, giving us more low-frequency extension. However, we are providing a bracket assembly that's going to interface with the new undercarriage of the seat uh, to allow the provisions to be made for our amplifier to mount seamlessly. Install two of the provided M5 bolts on the factory It does come with a gain control knob for precision adjustability of the subwoofer system. Um, wh where did you have your gain control knob m mounted before, bro? So I had mine right off to the side on like the over here? belt right there, yeah. Okay, so as, as Jesse did, you can mount it under the steering column like so. Uh, you can also do it in the glove box. That's a popular spot that we have a lot of our Tacoma owners doing it. You know, kind of for the sit it and forget it listener where they find that sweet spot and never touch it. Um, the, the light's pretty bright though, right? Yeah. yeah. So an option, if you find the light to be a little bright and if it's hidden or even visible, uh, in any other case, I would suggest you can diffuse it. Uh, by doing just these number two screws on the top, loosening the nose, pulling the light back into the assembly, doing a little piece of masking tape, uh, you know, cleanly on the inside so it doesn't aesthetically compromise the look, it'll actually diffuse the light and make it more ter tolerable at nighttime. Exactly, because that's exactly what I did. That thing mm -hmm. was just, it was, it, it's bright. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it's yeah. bright. I mean, it's good to have the indicator so you know, hey, everything's up and running, yeah. but it, it can be a little bit aggressive for that nighttime vision. Um, but what Jesse had mentioned is uh, also wanting to integrate it into the blank right here. So what we're going to do is we'll pop the panel off, pull the blank out, and then again, the same way that I was referring to disassembling this to get to the light, we can actually pull the module out. You see it right there. It's a very small footprint. Uh, we'll pull the module out and we'll integrate it into one of his blanks. That's loose. And then from the back side, we're just going to push it up. Just like that. So
You want me to go? Yeah. You're rolling already? Yeah. All right, so Jesse's actually doing this really unique like, contortion right now to get the <laughs> shot, so I just want to put that on record. All right, uh, 2020 head unit. Um, same disassembly as the previous generation. We're grabbing the outside of the panel. I'm just going to use my hands for this, pulling it directly away from its rested position, like so. Okay, this is going to reveal uh, the 10 millimeter bolts. There's a total of four. I'll get this one that you can't see first, and then I'll come to the ones you can. There you go. I'm just going to lift this out of its rested position. My recommendation is having a blanket or a beach towel so that the moment the radio is out of its uh, cavity, we can tuck it, um, uh, tuck it in. So there it is. Again, the blanket or the towel is protecting the interior, uh, the climate control and everything else. With the 2020 head unit, you're only interfacing with this 10 pin black connector. This is a factory 10 pin. This has got uh, the front and rear channels uh, allocated to it. And that's really all the OEM Audio Plus system is doing is hijacking all the factory signal. So we're acting as a true middleman, amplifying and remastering everything as it pertains to sound reproduction. So everything that you hear from the speaker locations has gone through the amplifier and digital signal processor remastering everything. Uh, so here's the original harness as was in Jesse's 2018 Tacoma. Um, 10 pin, 6 pin connection is what Toyota had in their vehicles for like the last 20 years plus. Uh, so every year model prior to 2020 would have this that we serve. So we're going to run this up to the radio cavity from under the steering column and then we're going to go ahead and add the adapter for the 2020 connection. All right, so there we go. Here are the adapters that we provide with all of our 2020 kits, whether it's the Forerunner, the Tundra, or in this case, the Tacoma. Again, interfacing with the original 10 pin, six pin connections, and then the new 10 pin connection for the factory head unit. So the connections of the OEM Audio Plus harness will go into the designated receptacles of the main quick sync wiring harness. This is the one that runs all the way to the amplifier. So the harness has got the adapter plugged in. And then here are the connections that are geared towards the 2020 head unit. We'll unplug the factory connection. That goes into our harness. And then our harness goes into the back of the radio. So again, lots of connections that are taking place, but the real, the only two that matter are the 10 pin connection from the OE Audio Plus uh, quick sync wiring harness to the head unit. These other connections are just to allow the existing wiring harness to work with the 2020 year model. No cutting, no splicing, no tapping. Uh, it's a very intuitive, all connectors are keyed, so there's no way of plugging it into the wrong receptacle. No crazy mess of wires back there or anything. Factory connections line up just the way they did before, and we'll return the original factory hardware. All the while, all steering wheel control, um, USB, uh, Bluetooth, everything's preserved. No compromise to the functionality of the vehicle whatsoever. So with the 2020 year model, uh, Toyota actually shrunk the storage compartment on the driver's side of the vehicle, which is traditionally where we put our single subwoofer. So by default, uh, we actually install the passenger side, or we provide rather the passenger side subwoofer system uh, with our standard single sub option. And that is a drop-in installation without any modification whatsoever to the panel. However, there is the dual subwoofer option or even the option to have the driver's side subwoofer installed uh, uh, which requires a modification to the back side of the panel. Let me show you. On the back side of the panel, we're basically uh, removing this portion back to allow our subwoofer to sit flush. Like I said, they just took an inch away from us. So all we're doing is affording that, but without any compromise to the performance of the sound system. Um, it's not our preference to do the mod. That's why by default you have that single sub option uh, on the passenger side of the vehicle. But for those who prefer the driver's side or don't mind having the dual with that slight modification, that's what takes place. Uh, all modification again takes on the back side of the panel. So once the subwoofer is installed, there's no aesthetic compromise to the uh, interior of the vehicle. Because Jesse is going to be going from the single to the dual uh, as he expressed he anticipates doing that later uh, we're basically going to pre-wire everything with the dual in mind so here would be the connector for the single sub uh, ran to the the driver's side of the vehicle if that's where he was going to have it but in this case i'm going to basically do my split um, basically there's an adapter under the amplifier or excuse me under the seat at the amplifier location that's giving full signal uh, our amplification for a dual subwoofer the splitter allows for it to properly distribute uh, the signal and the power from uh, well, in this case, driver's side to passenger side. So the driver's side will remain here, going through the panel opening that we provided, and then this one will run across the side of the vehicle to the passenger side of the vehicle um, to uh, where the sub that we're going to leave in with him today. This will be pre-wired, ready for you to just drop it in. So that's that's actually something we have folks tell us. If they think they're going to go from a single to a dual, we can actually send them the wiring for the dual in advance so that they have a seamless upgrade pathway.
So as you can tell, you see that wire there? That's gonna be the uh, second subwoofer that's gonna end up coming in to play later on in the future. And then of course, this wire on this side is the one we're gonna be connecting for today. But there we go, that's what Daniel was talking about. I'm pre-wired for two subs now, so I'm ready to go. Let's go ahead and keep going. So right now he's just plugging it in. Uh, once he plugs it in on the opposite side, of course you guys can't see it, but it's mm -hmm. on the other side. Mm -hmm. Now he's gonna go ahead and gently uh, drop it inside the carriage. You guys can tell it gives it for a factory look. It looks like it came like this from the factory and it just looks really good. It's obviously gonna be impossible to capture the sound quality uh, by way of this microphone, let alone the speakers, the playback speakers that you know your audience might be listening through, whether it be their phone or their laptops. But uh, here's a particular cut that does show a little bit of the emphasis that the system can accomplish. Jesse's original uh, system was calibrated for the 2018 Tacoma. And though, I mean, again, we're talking about the same acoustic environment, same speaker locations, um, same subwoofer and everything else, uh, there is differences in terms of the output characteristic with the 2020 head unit. And those are one of the variables that OEM Audio Plus takes into account. So we're actually gonna retune. Uh, this is a reflashing module that we provide uh, for owners that are out on the field, say if they change out their head unit, or in this case, Jesse going from the 18 to the 20, uh, rather than you having downtime without your system, we would send you this module with a pre-programmed tune on it. And then in turn, bro, we just plug this into your amplifier and it will recalibrate the digital signal processor. So we're gonna reappropriate this, recalibrate it, uh, so that you get the maximum sound reproduction out of your system. I don't know if you can see that from this angle, but in the front, yeah. of your amplifier. There's a little remote control module, so we're gonna just plug that in there. And so we have the light indication. Hey, seize it. Push right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and tap that. It'll give me, it'll let me know that the program is uh, taken, the flash that is. There we go, that PF indicator. And then I'm gonna fire it up and so what we were hearing before was actually your 2018 EQ uh, in your system. Now this is gonna be the optimal, uh, optimized rather, uh, tuned specifically for the 2020 head unit. I fired it up and Jesse, what were your first impressions after you heard it after the re-EQ? Right when he fired it, no joke you guys, you can hear the big difference. I told him I should have recorded my expression because <laughs> it sounded good. <laughs> well, and it's, it's a trip because you're going from good to excellent. Yeah. Because it was already sounding pretty good, right? I mean, yeah. I mean, again, I'm, I'm not trying to put words in your mind. <laughs> you're not. It, it sounded pretty good, right? And then the moment we fired it up and there was that female vocalist, it was yeah. just like, you could, yeah, go ahead. It's, it's, I want to say it's a lot more clear and a little bit more deep, I could say. Mm -hmm. It's, it's nice. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and so again, that's a testimony to the tune. Again, because we could just throw spaghetti at the wall and see if it sticks. Yeah. But we don't do that. We, we tune specifically with all variables in mind. Again, you, I probably could have got away with sending you home with your 2018 EQ, right? Yeah, but, but it, it's well, not going to stick. No, it wouldn't like have been that. the same. And now that you've heard it, you know what you would have been missing if you didn't have something tailored specifically for your vehicle and all the variables of your vehicle so exactly right on bro cool I like that All right, you guys so now that we're back home i've actually had the oem audio sound system installed onto my 2020 tacoma for maybe about a month now uh, me personally i really enjoy it but for today i actually have my niece right here i'm gonna let her actually listen to it we're gonna get her reaction and i told her not to lie about this uh, if she hates it she can be honest if it sounds pretty good uh, she'll be honest with you guys. Uh, that way it's not my opinion as well. But as I said, I really like it. Um, it's cool, it was easy to install. Uh, everything was nice and flush, looks factory, as you guys saw when we were doing the installation, of course. So now let's go ahead and get to the reactions and step inside. All right, so now that we're inside the truck, I'm gonna let you listen to it. Keep in mind, the cool thing about this sound system, and this goes for everybody that's actually watching this video, the cool thing about this sound system is one, it's actually really easy to install. Everything is like kind of factory, and it looks good when you look at it, which I'll show you guys in a minute how it looks. And then also, uh, just everything overall, no matter what song you put, the cool thing about this, it doesn't distort, and it's actually really clear. Whether it's Spanish music, whether it's rock music, whether no matter what you put, it sounds really good. Um, so we're gonna have a testament right here. I wish I would have recorded all the reactions from my subscribers that have actually heard my truck in person. Uh, that would have been cool to add this into the video, but maybe for another video, I'll try to see if I can get some more people onto this. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, play the first song. I'm gonna go ahead and play a uh, Spanish song. Uh, so you guys are- Peninsula? Yeah. <laughs> that bunny? Oh no, I thought that that's what you were gonna play. Uh. <laughs> So of course you guys are going to get muted for copyright reasons, but towards the end I'll go ahead and play a non-copyrighted song. I just want to go ahead and get her reaction first, that way you guys see it in camera. Yeah. 
Why is it so loud? <laughs> you can feel it. It's like on your lower back. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see with this one. My phone's but not But it working. really does sound like a surround sound and like a movie theater. <laughs> All right, now we're going to play a song for them so that way they can kind of hear it with us. And then after, I want you to kind of explain a little bit yeah, what you're doing. Yeah, I'm on copyright music. Yeah. This does sound like not copyright. <laughs> See if there's some bass. So with that couple seconds that you just listened to it, what do you think of it? Um, both the actual songs and the non-copyrighted songs, can you explain what you just listened to? It was very loud. Mm -hmm. Was it clear? Was it the bass was good? How did it sound? Yeah, it sounds better. It sounds better than when it's like regular, like before when you barely got the car. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds way better. <laughs> and what were you saying about the center? Oh, that it feels cool. Like you can feel it all the way up to the back. Like it's moving or something? Mm -hmm. Damn. Do you recommend it? Yes. Yeah? Yes. And but then... um, petition for the views to go up so that he can buy me a new car. So of course you can't really describe it as you said, but overall, I mean, the clarity, you saw that I kind of maxed it out and... It's 100% Yeah, right? Like it doesn't distort or does it? No, no right? No, it really okay. Good. And as far as clarity, you can hear the crispy song. Have you ever heard those cars when they're coming down the road and all you hear is boom, 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 you can't really hear the music? That yeah. sounds ugly or no? Yeah. Okay. Especially when they're little like cars that don't look cool. Yeah, exactly. Those cool sounds, like... <laughs> so some of you guys maybe I don't know, but I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> um, but so with this one, you can actually hear it. You can hear the bass clearly, or what do you think? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So recommend. Yes. All right. I'm there you guys go. <laughs> when am I gonna get my car? Uh -huh. Subscribe, you guys. No, I'm just kidding. Uh -huh. All right. So now showing you guys in the interior. So basically, all it is. It's just one eight inch subwoofer right here that is fine tuned to your specific vehicle, of course, because they do make it for other cars. That's the cool thing about the OEM audio sound system. Um, it comes with all four door speakers. Of course, I can't show you them because they're already installed, but you guys saw it in the beginning. And then it also comes with the tweeters if you get that package. And as for me, I am going to be getting the dual sub. So we're probably going to redo another video later in the future. And I hope to get some of your guys' reactions in that video. Or I'll come to you guys. That way you guys can listen to it. I can record your reactions. Um, but yeah, so pretty soon. Right now, of course, as I said, it's the single sub, uh, the 8-inch. And it does have a small pocket there, so you can insert some stuff there. And then when I get my dual sub, it's going to be on that side. Once I install it, I'll post a video for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys do want to end up purchasing the OEM audio sound system, it's going to be in the description box below. And remember, if you guys ever see me out anywhere and you guys want to listen to it, just go ahead and stop me and I'll be glad to show you guys. See you guys. <laughs> <laughs>